Good day all. Thank you for being present for today's series preview ahead of the ODI series to be played against New Zealand here in Barbados. Today, we have the West Indies captain, Nicholas Puran, available to speak with you to meet. And due to the numbers that I'm seeing in the chat, I'm not going to limit the amount of questions. I'm just going to ask you to raise your hand if you do have questions prepared. I'm not seeing any indications of raised hand as, hands as yet, and I have no questions via WhatsApp, so we'll just await the first indication. Michelle McDonough, please proceed. Thank you, Dario. Good afternoon, Nicola. So the T20s are behind you. What do you look forward to seeing improvement in for the ODI series? Good afternoon, everyone. Improvements, um, just for us to continue as a team in ODI cricket, I think we have been playing well. The last, out of the last three games, we played two wonderful games. Um, unfortunately, we haven't crossed the line, but we had a long summer and we have learned a lot from these games that have played. And I think the guys are ready for this challenge here against New Zealand. New Zealand, we know it's again, it's for points, and we are all up for the challenge. Okay, thank you. That's it for now. Gavin, Terry, TT Newsday. If anyone has questions prepared, please feel free to answer. Uh, good afternoon, Skipper. Sorry for not raising man. I was trying to locate the gestures in there. <laughs> Good afternoon, Dario. Good afternoon, Skipper. Um, a couple of challenging series recently in the ODI format uh, with uh, India and, of course, Bangladesh there before. Um, what are your prospects uh, for facing off uh, in this upcoming series? Well, again, yeah, tough summer. A lot of losses for us. Bangladesh and India obviously really hurt us. But again, um, it's in the Caribbean and we felt like we feel like we're in a good place as a ODI team at the moment. We know, yes, we want to win. Yes, we know we had to put things in place to know how to win ODI games. And I think we have learned a lot again. You know, this, this, this summer here has taught us a lot, especially with our team. We know we had a young bunch of guys, but over the last couple of months, we gained a lot of experience and knowledge. And again, I think I'm you know, happy to chat to the guy. Everyone is up for the challenge. And we know how important this series is for us as a group here. Um, you can see in the bowling department, Ansari Akin is leading the attack really well, and you know, in the batting as well. You know, she up myself, uh, Kyle Mears, and Shaman Brooks. We are starting to get scores behind our names now, and that's really good, you know, especially going into Barbados here. We expect to have you know, good cricket pitches here as well, and you know, hopefully, hopefully, we can cross the line here. I see Gavin has his hand up, but let me just ask a couple of quick follow ups. Um, you have a fairly young unit, all in all. Um, when you look at, at the group, do you think that you see signs that you are building the right habits, building the right mentality um, that will take you down the road? Definitely. Um, that's one thing I'm really proud about. Um, we know we have a young group, but we are learning and you're seeing the performances on the cricket field as well. You're seeing some really good performances, not just by one individual, but by different individuals. And that's that's really nice to see. Yes, we are building for a T20 World Cup this year and an ODI World Cup next year. I think it's really nice for us to obviously you know, play together as long as possible so we can understand how you know, understand how we play together. I think that's really important, especially when you see that we have we, we have 11 guys who know normally plays together all the time. You know when this 11 play together, we, we we keep finding ways to be better. So now the guys who are getting the opportunity of the bench, you know, we need them to obviously gain some more experience as well. And I feel we are building in the right direction, to be honest. Um, but only time will tell. I don't want to say that now, but I feel like we are building, we are building really nicely. and. You know, we, we will get to where we want to in time, but we need to keep putting in the hard work from now. Last question for me. Um, uh, the, we heard uh, 
recently we've heard it from you know the management team um, of late that you know you can't force guys to play for West Indies. What's the the vibe in camp as far as the level of satisfaction with who you have in camp? Uh, we've had similar questions obviously before with Hetmeyer and fitness. Um, now we're talking about other players who may or may not be available for whatever reason. What is the the, the level of satisfaction with who you have available? Um, from from me, I'm I'm really happy with who I have here. I I love this bunch of guys here, and they have been going out and giving it their best. And I'm really happy with whatever we have here. Um, these guys are special to me, and you know, I, I like the way that they they are playing the cricket at the moment. Um, unfortunately, again, we disappoint at times. We are not good at times, but that's fine. I'm happy with the effort. You know, if you if you look back, these are the same guys who went back to twice in a COVID situation. Then. You know, 45 to 50 degrees temperature, play their cricket, and you know, these guys get my respect, and, and they are giving it their all for West Indies at the moment. So I'm really happy, regardless if someone else has a company team, um, you know, we expect the same. But I'm really happy from a captain's um, perspective. I'm really happy with who I have here. I believe in these guys, and you know, eventually we'll get to where we want to. Thanks and good luck. Thank you. Gavin Richards. Uh, good afternoon, Skip. Um, a word on uh, Gudakesh Moti. Would he be available for this series? I know that he was um, picked, but subject to fitness. Uh, unfortunately, obviously, we saw in India series, he obviously had a fracture in his thumb. But unfortunately, he, he isn't fit as yet. All right, um, Nicholas, how much of a, a blow is this for you? I mean, he was one of the standout bowlers in the last series. Say that again? I, I was saying, how much of a blow is this for the West Indies team? Seeing that um, although Moti is new uh, to, to ODI cricket, yeah, he was one of the standout players in the last series. Definitely, definitely it's a blow for us, um, especially you know, looking at his performances in the back of the series and then how well he bowled in that first game against India. I thought we were starting to get that chemistry between both him and Akil. And I think both of them are two of the better spinners in the Caribbean. And this side will work really nice for, you know, for us. Um, it is what it is. Um, obviously, injuries, anyone can get injured, but you know, we're hoping that Moti recover as fast as possible so he can be available for us. But in saying that, um, obviously, Kevin Sinclair is here, Yannick Carrier recently got picked, and we are backing them 100% to obviously deliver for us. Nicholas, this is a very important series for the West Indies. I, I believe um, it's our final chance to, to secure an automatic spot for, for the World Cup 2023. Um, in terms of, of the pressure in the camp, you know, to get a positive result, um, tell me a bit about that. Um, again, the pressure has been on from the beginning for us to try to win cricket games. Um, but this team has been together for a while now, the last three months, four months. And we, we, we knew that this series was for points and we know we had to get, we had to win games to get points here. And again, the pressure. I don't think we're looking at looking at it from that perspective in terms of we have to win and we must get points. I think the guys, they they they, they know what's at stake here, and we know what we have to do to obviously be successful in the series here. And you know, everyone knows that. So again, it's a game of cricket, and you know, whoever plays better on the day is gonna be successful. All right, thank you, Captain. All right, thanks. I'm not seeing any further indications or questions. If you do have, please raise your hand now, basically, or we will be ending today's engagement after this final one that Michelle McDonald has set to Skipper Michelle is asking if the batting order has been settled or if you'll be experimenting in this series. Um, again, obviously, the batting order in ODI cricket is, have been the same for a while now. Kyle Mears, She Hope, Shamar Brooks, obviously Brandon King at number four, myself at five. Um, but we have some new faces, and obviously, with some new faces in the team, they'll have to slot in into position. Um, the final 11 hasn't been picked yet, but hopefully, we're trying to keep a stable lineup this, for this series. All right, on behalf of all the media and all the journalists that are present for the press conference. I want to say thanks, Skipper, for taking time out to be here with us. And on the behalf of Cricket West Indies and the team here on the ground, I want to say thanks to the media 
for being able to cover West Indies cricket. We look forward to the first match in this ODI series tomorrow, and I'll be I'll keep in contact with you guys via the WhatsApp group. Enjoy the rest of it. Thank you, guys.